And here we are, wrapping up another Las Vegas Raiders practice. This time, Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew have been sharing quarterback duties. And today, we got a closer look at O'Connell making some impressive throws. One of the young wide receivers is really starting to shine, even catching a big-time touchdown pass during practice. Gardner Minshew also got plenty of first-team reps, so there's a lot to break down. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about today's practice, the news, the highlights, the key observations. But before we dive in, I want to give a shout out to all the Raiders media members out there. They work tirelessly every single day to bring us these highlights. And without their hard work, these videos wouldn't be possible. Trust me, if you follow them, you won't regret it. They post so much from practice that it feels like you're right there with them. So go ahead and give them a follow. Now, back to practice. It started off with Gardner Minshew getting the first team reps, though that shifted as the day went on. Minshew and O'Connell have both had solid camps, though it's fair to say the defense has been dominating most days. Max Crosby, Jack Jones, Nate Hobbs, and Christian Wilkins have all been standouts, making the defense look incredible. But today felt a little different. The offense finally started to build some momentum. One player who really stood out today was Alexander Madison, he had a couple of really nice catches, and Dylan Laub also caught our attention. Antonio Pierce had good things to say about Lauba, a guy coming out of New Hampshire who's been stringing together some solid practices. Don't be surprised if Lauba starts to make a name for himself in the preseason and maybe even earns a role on the team this year. And let's not forget about Zamir White. This guy is a powerhouse, and I'm excited to see what all three of these running backs can do. Another interesting note from today, Devontae Adams wasn't at practice, but don't worry, it's not injury related. From what I hear, he's got a baby on the way. So it's definitely an excused absence. Congratulations to Devontae. Now let's get to the big news of the day. Aiden O'Connell was the quarterback during team drills and he threw an absolute bomb down the sideline for a touchdown. And who was on the receiving end? Trey Tucker. This is big because Tucker is expected to be the number three receiver, and he's already pulling ahead on the depth chart. It seems like Trey Tucker is getting closer to locking in that wide receiver three spot. However, he's had his share of struggles with drops throughout camp. So for him to step up today and make such a huge play really says a lot about his determination. Despite the challenges, Tucker showed that he can push through and deliver when it matters. It was a great catch paired with a fantastic throw by Aiden O'Connell. During the first session of team drills, O'Connell was the starter. It's been another day of rotating between Gardner Minshew and O'Connell, one taking snaps in the sevens, the other in the elevens. As Antonio Pierce mentioned the other day, they're still waiting for one of these quarterbacks to really take the lead, but that hasn't happened just yet. Before we dive deeper, do me a quick favor, hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it helps you stay updated on everything Raiders. We're covering every single practice throughout training camp and beyond. Plus, we're also live streaming Raiders games on my Twitch channel. If you wanna watch the games with me, break down the film and react in real time, head over to my Twitch, link in the description, or you can find me at Maddie Dubs with three S's. We're also going to break down every game, both offense and defense, and analyze individual player performances. So make sure to join the family if you haven't already. Now back to the action. We saw another impressive throw from O'Connell during seven on sevens, connecting with various receivers as he works on locking in his rhythm. One standout was a beautiful pass to Brock Bowers during an 11 on 11 two minute drill, ending with a touchdown hookup between O'Connell and Bowers. It was a thing of beauty. We also had a deep completion to Jacoby Myers down the left sideline, followed by another solid connection with Trey Tucker, and then of course the touchdown to Bowers to cap it off. O'Connell really ended the 11 on 11 S on a high note. Another player making waves is undrafted free agent wide receiver Ramel Keaton from Tennessee. He had a stellar day, catching every target thrown his way without a single incompletion. John Jenkins was back on the field today, which was great to see, though Brandon Fassison, Amir Abdullah, Charles Snowden, and Tulu Griffin were still absent. Overall, today was a big step in the right direction for the Raiders especially for Aiden O'Connell as he continues to build chemistry with his receivers. Keep in mind though, that Max Crosby and the defense have been putting serious pressure on the quarterbacks. And with Jackson Powers Johnson and Colton Miller, two of the top offensive linemen, not practicing, it's been tough on the offense, but DJ Glaze has stepped up in a big way, handling a lot of responsibility. And Brock Bowers is shaping up to be a major threat from day one. 
let's talk about Jacorian Bennett, who's in the mix for that DB3 spot on the team. Right now, he's facing some challenges, especially with penalties. He's been drawing a lot of pass interference calls throughout practice, which could be a concern as we head into preseason games. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out because there are quite a few players competing for that cornerback position. Isaiah Pola Mao, for example, has been impressive during camp. Then there's Kamarda Richardson, MJ Devonshire, and Brandon Fassison, along with Sam Webb. All of these guys are battling for that number three cornerback job, and I can't wait to see who steps up and claims it. And let's not forget about Tyree Wilson. I'm really excited to see how he's grown in his second year. Malcolm Coons continues to look solid as well. And we've got guys like Tommy Eichenberg, Robert Spillane, and Divine Dablo, who are all players I really like. But as always, we need to see continued development from these guys as they get better with each passing day. Tomorrow should bring another practice session, so stay tuned for another Raiders video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates. I appreciate all of you for tuning in, and remember, there's another video coming your way tomorrow. Also, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below with two players you're most excited to watch during the Raiders preseason, one on offense and one on defense. I'll catch you in the next Raiders update. Peace.